Hello, this is your worst enemy. This is a PSP 1000, this is a PSP 3000, and this is the PlayStation Vita First Edition Bundle. I live in Canada, so unlike the US, oops, I get the Wi-Fi Edition. The US gets the 3G and Wi-Fi Edition. So, I got the PlayStation Vita First Edition Bundle, and I also got a protective film to go along with it. I'm just going to raise the camera up a little because it's kind of hard to see what I'm unboxing. Does that look good enough? I guess so. And let's get to the main attraction. I have not opened this up at all. I have not seen what's inside. So this will be pretty much our first impressions, and right when I open it up, I'm going to be putting on the protective film. The box is, uh, pictures have been online for a while now, Sony PS Vita, first edition bundle, uh, little deviance, 4 gigabyte memory card, and a carrying case. So, without further ado, let's open it up. I've only cut off the tape, and right when you open it up, the PlayStation Vita box is right there. And this is, of course, says Wi-Fi, and PS Vita memory card sold separately. Of course, it comes with this, but if you're getting just this, it's not going to come with it. And then we've also got the Connect. Explore, play, all of that stuff. I have to raise my camera up a little bit more because it's still not getting everything correctly. Let's see. Does that look good enough? Yeah, I guess it's good enough. So I'm going to put this to the side for a moment. And inside the box, there's a bunch of loose things. And this is what comes with the first edition bundle. So in this little bag here, it's already opened. Uh, there's PS Vita AR play cards. There's uh, six of them, I believe. Uh, PlayStation protection plan to protect your investment. Uh, and advertisements for accessories. Pretty simple stuff. Um, then, right here, you got a 4 gigabyte memory card. Which is very small, by the way. It's, it's about as small as my index finger. And the game, Little Deviance. And this game box is extremely tiny. I'm just going to make a comparison here. This is Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, the UMD. For the PSP. This is Little Deviance. As you can see, it's the same thickness. It's exactly the same thickness, no joke, but it's not as high. That's, uh, it's really tiny. Like, you have to see it to believe it, really. That's what she said. Uh, and of course, here is God of War 3 for the PlayStation 3. It's the same size as a regular Blu ray disc case. There it is compared to the PlayStation Vita game case. So, yeah. At least it's very compact. They didn't really need to put much in there. And right here is the PlayStation Vita limited edition carrying case, which only comes with the first edition bundle. And, uh, it's a hard case. It says PlayStation on the zipper. Open it up. You got slot for accessories or whatnot. Got, let's see, lift this up. Uh, God, it's really, really jammed in there. Okay, uh, this is a slot for games. So your games will go inside these little pockets here. And then that's the spot for your Vita set. would close over very nicely and zip up. And I think it's a very good case. I mean, it doesn't look nice, 
but it's definitely going to keep the Vita protected. So, you know, who cares about what it looks like? No, nobody wants a leather case if it doesn't work. So there's the memory card. I'm not going to open that up yet. Put this all back inside the box. Let's look at Lil Deviants, shall we? And uh, uh, this opens like any regular game box. It's very stuck together. Uh, there's no tabs to open it up or anything. I'm going to get back to that later. Uh, nobody wants to see me. Oh, look at that. More tape. I should have brought a knife with me. Well, let's just unbox the Vita right away. Like I said, Wi-Fi bundle. So no 3G, but nobody needs 3G. Um, really. I mean, um, Canada, I guess Rogers, has been having trouble trying to find, uh, not find, but it's been trouble talking to Sony. I guess they're not able to come up with an agreement as to how the 3G plan in Canada is going to work, so the 3G Wi-Fi Vita is not out yet. Um, like I said, I don't care though. Uh, got the tape off my fingers. And right here, just lift this tab up. There we go. And pull this part out. Flip it over. Right away, it's like the Japanese PlayStation Vita. There is, let me just lift the camera up. It's easier to record like this. PlayStation Vita, welcome to the world of PlayStation and Quick Start Guide. Let's just open it up here. Right here we have the power brick. And after that, the power cord that goes in the back of the power brick. And right after that, the USB cable, which would attach to the power brick, or you could attach it to your PS3 or your PC. However you want to charge it or connect it, you can do it with that. It's proprietary, of course, so unfortunately it won't work on anything else. Now, a quick start guide. I'm not going to fold it out. Uh, it's, for Canada, it's in English and French, so you get two. Um, right here is what you really want to look at. Not my hand, the PlayStation Vita. And wow, is it good to finally hold this. After so long, finally, I get the PlayStation Vita. Under here, it's just a safety guide. So, I'm going to take this out try my best not to touch the screen so that I can actually put on the protective film. And I did an unboxing of this in an earlier video, so I'm not going to go into detail like I did before. Let's see. There we go. Got the protective film out. There's two. Uh, you can't really see them, but yeah, whatever. Um, okay. So I have to read the instructions. I might skip the video or whatever. Let's see. I have the display screen. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't need to remove dirt and dust because there is none. Place the film on the PlayStation Vita system with the holes in the outer sheet over the whatever, circle X square buttons, lining the top of the film with the top edge of the PS Vita system, figure A. Okay, holding down the right edge of the outer sheet. Peel off the inner sheet with the white tab, and then cover the screen with the film. Okay. Peel off the outer sheet with the holes, placing the protective film in place. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this as best as I can, 
This thing is very thin, by the way. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, oh, boy. I, I really don't want to mess up this 5-inch OLED screen. I don't want to even touch it. I don't want to get any fingerprints. Let's see. Can I grab the... There you have it. PlayStation Vita. This is a very sexy machine. Now, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to not get anything on it. Take out soft cloth. Wipe that little bit of dirt that got on it. Just wipe that away. Damn, this looks nice. I'm telling you, you have to see it to believe it. It's really shiny. And let's see. Okay. So, you have to place it right above the buttons. That top edge has to be aligned. Okay. That's good, that's good. Grab the white tab, pull it, stick it on like so. Okay, so now I have to get the bubbles out. And this does not come with a card to squeeze the bubbles away, so I might have some issues doing this. Let's see. Come on. Get all those air bubbles out. I think there will be a couple left on. If there are, whatever. I don't really care. They're very small. And just squeeze that. Okay. Gotta make sure I get this right. Grab this tab. And slowly but surely lift that off. And there you have it. Screen protector is on. A few bubbles. Um, but not bad. It had a very easy installation, which I really liked. Um, it's removable as well. It doesn't uh, leave any sticky residue. And it's supposed to keep the Vita more fingerprint free. And uh, just a little bit better looking. So. There you have it, PlayStation Vita. Now, let's see. I have to get the memory card in, don't I? So, that's, this is a cardboard casing. Should be easy enough to open. Just rip it off. Oh my god. That, that has a small small memory card. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't know, yes, Vita memory card goes let's see if I can in that slot right there. Just open that up. And No way of knowing where this, how, does it, goes in this way? I guess it does, okay. So there, that memory card's in. And I think now we can officially turn it on. As you can see, there's the back of the Vita. 
See my face as well. See my face still. Oh, whatever. Uh, there we go. That is a very nice screen in comparison to the PSP 3000. Same thickness, about. Oh, my hand's still in the way. Uh, same. God, it's really hard to align with the camera. Yes, yeah, same thickness. And width is eh, not that bad. It's almost the same size. Okay, so here we go. Slide that away. And get some nice little music here. I'm going to go with I guess I'll go with English United States, even though I know the United States uh, doesn't have the perfect English of the United Kingdom. Um, I do believe I'm in that time zone, I'm not sure. Um, okay. It is February. Let's see if I can turn up the volume actually. Get a nice little jingle. 2011. No, it's tw it's 2012. And I do not have the time either. Hmm. You know what? Whatever. I'll change that later. Do you have a PlayStation Network account? Yes, I do. Next. Do you want to use your account on your PlayStation VD system? Use. Now I am going to set up my Wi-Fi settings and then I'm going to turn the camera back on and show you exactly what happens after setup.